Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 39 of New Vegas. This time I got the episode right. Holy crap. Yao Guai finally spawned in the correct spot. Um, when we left off, I proved I'm a fucking idiot by getting the number on the episode wrong. <laughs> see, I can't get one. It's a giant Yao Guai. Holy shit. Don't often see those. This is a little bit of a problem. Can I cripple it? Uh, maybe. Then I'll have to pay for it. Ooh, that was a critical strike. Which is what that... <laughs> the, uh, that gun is known for. That is what I was going to say. We've had this discussion nine million times. Yes, they do. Jesus. More than they should. Some people actually get addicted to it. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> what we were going to do was try and find this marker here. And try and get this spot uh, mapped out. Well, this whole place, really. A little bit more mapped out. But uh, I kind of got distracted from the main mission doing all of that. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, this place is beautiful, but, you know, we're supposed to be doing things for these people. Especially because I'm getting overladen with gear that I need to sell, like, soon. Anyway. How about you guys? How are you doing? Good? You weren't being an idiot like I was? That, that, that's for sure. Oh, God. Yesterday was just a whole thing. Me being dumb dumber. that That's basically what I am. I'm a professional dumbass and that is what I do. Uh, I hope the people I was doing that with enjoyed it because god damn I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's the sorrows territory. They're hmm. peaceful enough. Oh, I'm sure I don't. I mean, their name is the sorrows. One would think. That's something you don't want to do. Ooh, what's this? What's this got? Bitter drink. Huh? Something. Bloat fly meat. Ew. That sounds disgusting. I'll drink a little bit of this. I'm surprised the rain isn't actually uh, radioactive here. I guess this is like a little patch of heaven. Ah. Huh. This must be the camp. Holy crap. There's a lot of bridges saw this one here and then I saw more up there. Whoa, what are you doing? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings yeah. of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I like your bear glove that I saw you coming over here with. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. Oh, that's what it's called. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Fair enough, I guess. Give me some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. Mm -hmm. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English, from the holy books. The, the holy books were originally in Latin. But okay. Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue. For it uh, is the language their sacred books are written in. That's... The father in the caves brought it to them hmm. after the judgment. But the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It mm -hmm. was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Uh -huh. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. 
Fair enough. Let's talk about something else. What? Uh, like, tell me more about your tribe. We have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire. Mm, uh, when the father in the caves punished war. the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. Uh. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. So what do you know about Salt Upon Wounds, which does sound horrifyingly bad? He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. Oh, jeez. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Ugh. That's not great. <laughs> not great at all. Who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. Huh? His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've been hearing about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. Okay. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, Caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only uh, the new Canaanites were spared. That doesn't seem right at all. But yeah, that's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. I'm not going to argue with her about it. It's not really like I care that much. That's all I wanted to know for now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. All right. And how about you? Let's talk to you. What can I tell you? Uh, what was this obsession you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. Oh, boy. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man. Big mustache. Carried a guitar. Mm -hmm. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. Uh -huh. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. Fair enough. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Oh. Never had the Growans. Growans? <laughs> Maybe. I can talk to him about it for you. Uh, be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. I hope he doesn't. Hmm, don't. Any interesting wildlife about uh, this area? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Uh -huh. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Mm -hmm. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. That makes sense. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. What for? Uh, th maybe I can help with that. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Mm -hmm. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. What do you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These big horners go crazy for the stuff. All right, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Okay. That's something to do. And now we're dealing with this stuff. And we have discovered the Sorrows Camp. 
And now we have to talk to uh, Daniel, who seems to be up there. Cliffs. Oh, vodka. Dude. Not now. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Get through that. And, jeez, it's impossible to see through that. Just walk around this way. Oh, that's tribal. Another tribal. And they barely wear n anything. Jeez. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure he's up near this. About the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a no, we've talked about this a million times, dude. Million, million times. Shush it. The whole face just shut. White bird's cave, huh? That's something I should explore later. Where the hell is Daniel? Oh, he's sleeping right over there. Okay, that explains it. That's a hat. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. Mm -hmm. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. Hmm. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Fair enough. Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Uh -huh. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So for I anyone, knew really. have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. Uh, none taken. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. Mm -hmm. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay. Anything to help, I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Yeah. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. Fair enough. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Hopefully. Oh, pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in your exploration. Well, Maybe. here we part ways. Oh. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Are you sure? You've been a useful companion so far. Even though you're killing animals I don't want to kill. Uh... Pff. <laughs> Not really gonna say that. Give my regards to Joshua then. I will. Good gunning, Akis. Okay. Oh, and he gave me some of his uh, stuff. Cool. Uh, let me. Daniel oh. said <clears throat> that I was to travel with you through the ropes. You have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. Certainly. We should make haste, then. Alright. Waking Cloud has given you the Quiet as the Waters perk. While Waking Cloud is in your party, it is much easier to sneak by the White Legs. Their perception is decreased. How much so, exactly? You're nice to know. Daniel, I need to talk to you. About I'm glad to see you're still to with sell. us. How can I help you? Uh... I need some medical assistance. Can you help? I should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? Uh, I need medical supplies. I can provide so I can medical assistance. Stuff. I can even use supplies that we have here. But I can't just sell what we have. I need to address problems as they arise. And most of those have to do with the sorrows or dead horses. Oh, jeez. I don't have enough skill to talk him into it. But I have caps, many of them. <laughs> Let me show you all of my fine caps. Yeah, a lot of good that does. Yeah, but I'm helping you, so come on. Come on! No, that's not going to work either. 
fuck. I understand. Thank you. If I can help you in some other way, don't hesitate to ask. Fair enough. Uh, why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've You're got me wrong. figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Hmm. If you're willing to defend the sorrows, why not pursue the white legs? Which is a lot There's more an my style. difference between killing and defense and waging war. Even a Gentile like you should know that. Joshua's a new Canaanite, and he's obviously willing to attack the White Legs. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Uh... Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the white legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will. But it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. Yeah doesn't sound right so is there any other way I can help the sorrows if you could part with it healing powder would be welcome we have enough stim packs for now but we can't rely on that small supply Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley and you might even find some on white legs you come across hmm uh, so what do you know about the father in the caves father in the oh right <sighs> Chairs He's some spirit it, the sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked mm -hmm. some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. I'm sure they will. You might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. Probably. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, let's talk more later. Until then. Uh, I need to get my speech up, that's for sure. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit. No, uh, let's not for now. Uh, is there anything I can use around here? I don't think so. There's that weird texture going on, too. I don't get it. I'll take some of these. This is another cave. Yes, it is. Crossroad Cavern. That's a name. Nope. There's some things. Yes. Take that. Take that. There we go. That's the good stuff. Take this. That. Take the good stuff. Take it all. <laughs> And there's a cave system over here that I might want to visit very soon. Or is it further up? I think it might be further up, and I'm just thinking it's this one. Whoa. This guy got fucked up. Half Mouse Cave, so it's not the one I was wanting to visit. Crap. I do need these for that other mission. Uh, no, I'll pick those up too. I'm just basically collecting stuff for other missions. What the fuck happened there? Okay. That was weird. There should be a bridge to get up to the spot I want to go, isn't there? I swear there is. Some sort of bridge? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> he went from one bed just to drop down in the other. This is not the spot I was looking for. The fuck? When salt upon wounds took me, oh, that's my he ordered flashlight. the okay. to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster? A uh, very sadistic little fuck, that's for sure. 
Not wanting anything to grow again. That is just awful. Uh, healing powder, which I could make for him, but I want to save the ingredients I have for that for healing poultice. Which, but, but, motherfucker, if I've forgotten how to spell again. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I uh, need cave fungus for that, but it requires all the same ingredients as the healing powder. So, I don't want to deal with that. Just to throw it all away. Um, where's the bridge I wanted to get up to? Oh, there's a way, I guess. It's a little bit of a roundabout way, but it, it worked. So fuck it. <laughs> it's not optimal, but fuck it. It did its job. Okay. Uh, we go up here. I think the cave I want is right over here. And if I'm wrong, well, I'm wrong. That's how it goes. But there's a cave below me. But I think the cave I want is right here. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Ow! Stone's Bone Cave. No, this isn't it. Might be this one. That I'm pretty sure is right here. Last God, motherfucker, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I thought I did, but apparently I don't. I'm just fucking dumb. I'm trying to find a particular cave system because it has a particular thing that I really want to collect. I'm not ending this episode until I fucking find it. What are you doing? Dead Horse Tribal, you drunk. Calm your tits. What the? Just calm geckos. Don't see that a lot. Uh, That's where I want to go, I think spot there. I don't know what I'm missing, because I'm pretty sure the cave I wanted to find was over here. I'm pretty sure. Am I losing my mind? I'm losing my goddamn mind. Maybe it is stone bones. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.